Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Steve. Today I will be telling you a story of two boys, James and John. Two boys, John and James were running on the road. John was meters in front of James. Actually, they were all going to their various destinations. And I guess they were running because the weather was cloudy, dark and set to rain. James who was behind saw John meters ahead and ran harder to overtake him that he passed his destination unknowingly. He really pushed harder until he overtook John and started going ahead of him. This running competition was unknowing to John because he wasn't competing with anybody. Few minutes after, John reached his destination and branched to enter his house. Immediately, James who was on a marathon race turned to see if his supposed competitor was close or not and behold, he saw him branching. Oh my god! It was there that James realized that they were not doing any race competition. Was John only running to reach his house? Yes. It was still there that James discovered that he has far past his house. Watch. In disappointment, he started walking back to locate his house which was hundreds of meters away. Not long, the heavy rain started. Now let's pause here. So many people in this life are just like James that because of competition, they've left their talent and destiny point to pursue or compete with others. In life, we have classmates, course mates, schoolmates, and the rest. But we don't have destiny mates. The road James and John were running is the highway of destiny. And on the highway, overtaking is allowed. Why? Because, we all have different success points. And everyone is running according to their grace, strength, supply, time, speedometer and distance. Lastly, on the highway, you are not under competition with anybody. Because the person that started with you is ahead doesn't mean you should compete or compare yourself with them. If you compete, you might pass your destination just like James. On the highway of success, everyone has different success bus stop. Don't be bothered with people that drop before you. Be concerned with dropping at your success bus stop. Don't leave your destiny chessing other people's destiny. Remember. When James realized himself and started going back, it was too late. Time is not by your side. Don't waste it on irrelevancies. Avoid unhealthy competition and focus on being a better version of you. I hope you were inspired. Please help us do better by following our page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Like and share this video. And let us know the lesson learned. Thank you for watching My World TV.